fellow collectors, I'm Anthony with Anthony's Comic Book Art. And I want to touch upon how raw we're all feeling today. So I got a bunch of raw comics. Raw comics, raw comics. I love raw comics. I went back into raw comics a few years ago to build this business uh, because comics I can buy and sell every day and uh, sell them by the bunches and the lots and the singles and the keys and the CGCs. And, you know, comics are very important to my business. Uh, I love buying collections that actually include the keys. And this was a collection I bought that actually had some keys in it. You know, it wasn't just sifted out. Uh, so these are raw comics that I'm working on today. I haven't, no prices yet. Ooh. But this is the kind of diversity that is Anthony's comic book art. Okay, we do raw comics, we do collectibles, we do original art, we do CGCs, graded stuff, and uh, original like uh, cover quality uh, material. And that's what keeps the whole ship afloat. And we're taking this ship to Wayne, New Jersey on Sunday, 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 where we are going to have Anthony's art happening, okay? That's what I want to call it. That's what I've decided to call it because it's going to be me and my inventory and a bunch of artists. So it's going to be like an augmentation to John Paul's comic show, which will be up, upstairs with all the comic book dealers and, uh, you know, guys that have like t-shirts and pops and stuff like that. I have that stuff at my regular retail store and, uh, you know, I have a bunch of it and it does sell, but uh, as far as what I want to bring out to a show, it's going to be the raw comics, good raw comics. It's going to be all the graded comics. As you can see, this is an example of first Archie cover, a timely, signed by Jack Kirby, Dick Ayers, and Stan Lee, right? Stan Lee too, right? Yeah, Stan Lee, Jack Kirby. And like that was the old time signature where they wouldn't sign it on the cover. Uh, key moderns. Uh, I saw, I uh, did the Golden Guys on Tuesday and they, we were, well, not we, they were breaking down some of the, crunching some numbers on the CGC information base. And this is the most graded book ever. You know, they, everybody just keeps sending those in. And then uh, there was a, there was one interesting thing about a cumulative number. And the question was, would you rather have all the graded action ones, all the graded, uh, Tech 27s or all the graded AF-15s? And I said, oh, I'd take all the graded AF-15s because there's more of those, the, you know, tons more of those. And I think that that cumulative number was uh, was more than the other ones. Because the, the problem is with the super graded, the super, you know, like the Action 1s and Tech 27s, if you don't do some research on those, those, some of those books have been sent in three and four times. So the actual population report on those might be a little skewed. So here's some Silver Age interesting stuff, Rainbow Batman, and uh, oh yeah, somebody asked me about this one, but we had already put it up on the uh, auction format. But all that stuff that I showed the other day on the uh, pre-code and the jungles and, and this one, they're all going to be ending tonight. Tonight. So we have raw comics, and we have graded comics and we'll bring all that inventory, all the better stuff this Sunday, okay? I'm gonna go rent a truck and I'm gonna have like almost my entire staff there to work, to work the crowd and be, have the Anthony's art happening be a success. So if you come out and support it, then I'll do more of them. And the way I'm going to help support that with my local customers is, it's gonna be kind of an extended holiday special. You spend a hundred dollars with me, free comic book art portfolio. You got a you got a, a, a regular size eleven by seventeen, and you got a thirteen by nineteen. And if you spend some decent money with me and appear on camera during my twelve to one streaming show with Bill Cox, you will get an Anthony's comic book art soaring the cosmic skyways to bring art to you. T-shirt. Well, supplies last. <laughs> There's just a couple things that uh, people have asked about already. Uh, a 
a customer is wanting to do a deal on this one. Uh, so that's kind of on hold. And this one, another customer has asked about this one. So this one's kind of on hold. We'll see if we work those out on camera. Uh, one's per in person, one's remote. And then we have some other really cool splashes. It's a Frankenstein. Yeah, very classic Frankenstein, -y, you know, on the table, getting revived. Oh, nice. Cheeky Poo art, Defenders. Oh, I still have that Sandman page. How is that still around? Oh, this is, uh, you know who? I don't even want to say her name. You know, she's an uh, evil girl. She was kind of a spin-off of Vampirella. She might have appeared in Vampirella first before she got her own thing. And then we have Riley Brown, who will be appearing and taking commissions at the show. If you would like to pre-book a commission, let me know. Uh, anybody you see on the guest list that you'd like to uh, book a commission with, let me know and I can uh, pre-arrange that. Here's a really cool page I'm surprised I still have. It's a, a whole origin of Carnage. His dad used to abuse him and then he turned evil. I didn't turn evil. I turned to football. <laughs> so that's kind of the same thing. He takes his, uh, he takes his issues out on uh, crime and other superheroes. I took my issues out on the opposing players. Yep. And then I hit a guy so hard, I broke my own neck. True story. All right, then we got the Ethan Van Skyver. Skyver. That's really cool. Green Lantern Corps. Edge of Oblivion. And uh, my friend, well, he's everybody's friend. He, he works a crowd like no other guy, Kevin Eastman. So polite to his fans. Very, very grateful for all his fans. I always appreciated that about him. And then we have, oh, this might be the other one. Oh, uh, mm, I gotta check, but I do have a few of these and we have a pending deal on one of these to do on the streaming. So that's another one we have uh, gonna be streaming a deal on. And then we have the Umberto Ramos stuff and we have large art stuff. That's a beautiful page. I'm surprised I still have that. But I love it. There's Leonardo da Vinci getting catapulted into the future. And that, oof. All right, so we have raw comics, graded comics, Rept Art with Riley. Scott Hanna is going to be there with his wife doing his, uh, her uh, craft art as well on the uh, masks. And then we have Phil Russert with uh, the people that he's working with. Uh, Sean Chen's uh, might stop by. Uh, Keith Williams, uh, Larry Stroman, uh, Henry Martinez, and uh, some art that he's representing and uh, trying to sell for guys out in Long Island for his uh, legendary illustrations business. So it's going to be my stuff and then uh, the other artists and uh, the art rep Phil Russert and we're going to have an art happening downstairs at the hotel. There will be temperature checks. There will be, uh, you know, uh, I'm not putting in like, there'll be a nice good spacing. Uh, you know, we've had no problems, you know, don't come out if you're sick, you know, don't come out if you think you've been exposed. I mean, you know, don't endanger other people. Uh, we, we're not doing that. All my, uh, all my uh, crew is uh, uh, basically uh, monitored so that uh, no one's sick and cross-contaminating anybody else. Uh, there's been a couple uh, tests lately, you know, because like somebody's dad might have been exposed at work, but you know, that's all negative. You know, we're all negative. And uh, I'm just trying to be positive in this very uh, somewhat negative atmosphere. <laughs> so. That's me and my positivity trying to better the world. Okay, that was my Kirby pose. All right, guys. So come on out to Sunday 
and let's support Anthony's art happening. Uh, there's going to be a, a bunch of other artists there, uh, at least seven or eight, I think, at this point. So we'll have some fun and we'll like support the art community. And, you know, I talked to John Paul for about a half an hour. I've talked to Viteri for about a half an hour. You know, the, the, the dealer con for Joe is still happening, no problems. Uh, not interfering with that. And then I just want to make this thing, uh, you know, do more business for myself and, you know, to support my, my business and my, my crew and my, my employees and then uh, give other artists a chance to make, you know, make a dime and support themselves during the lockdown where we don't have the big shows to do. So if, it, if it's good for everybody, we'll, we'll run it back maybe not next month, but the next month, you know, like a bi-monthly. How about that? Bi-monthly. All right. So I'm Anthony with Anthony's Comic Book Art. We'll see you Sunday, January 10th, the Baymont by Wyndham uh, in Wayne, New Jersey, out Route 23. And uh, we're going to have a good time and we're going to do some business and we're going to do some streaming on Bill uh, Cox's CAF from 12 to 1. See you then. Keep calm and keep collecting.